Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil and today right here, I'm going to show you how to do that fast flashing text just like Mr. Beast does in all of his videos to really capture people's attention and really keep them watching for longer. Here I'm going to show you a quick example of his beginning of his videos and he does it throughout his videos as well. This is a never ending giant mountain of cash. And as much cash as you can carry, you can keep. All right, now we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I just have a quick scene set up here. And I'm gonna show you what I'm saying. It's just a few seconds uh, because it, it can take a lot of time when you initially set this up, but then you can save it as a preset and it won't take you as long. But here's the initial clip that we're gonna be working with. Oh my goodness, you're not gonna believe this. So super quick, it's just some generic background of actually a coffee shop, not all that exciting, but you're not going to believe what happens in this coffee shop. And that's obviously me saying this exciting catch at the beginning of a video or something like that. Now to get started here, go to effects, come down to titles, come to text plus, and we'll just go ahead and drag the text plus down here first off. Now where we're going to put it is right when we start saying that first word. Oh. So it's pretty much right there. Oh. That looks perfect. So the first word is O. Oh. Pretty easy. Now you're going to want to pick whatever font you want, and we're going to scroll around here until I find one that looks. Ah, we're going to go with something similar to what Mr. Beast used. One hour later. So I decided to go with this Shrick Hand font right here. We're going to go ahead and leave it white because Mr. Beast always leaves it white. What we are going to do though is go ahead and zoom on this because it's going to want to be bigger. We're just going to guess to where we want it right now. And we'll go ahead and put it down more near the bottom because that's more where you're going to want it to fly in at. We're going to go ahead and because the first two words are going to be oh my, maybe we'll zoom in a little bit more, make it even bigger. Boom. So now that we have that there, we're going to want to put a drop shadow on it too. That kind of really makes the text pop out and more noticeable. So we're going to go to open effects here and we're going to scroll down until we get down to where we see the drop shadow. Go ahead and drag and drop that onto the text. And you've seen it take effect there. I don't particularly like my drop shadow looking like that. I always adjust it to where the drop shadow is closer, where the shadow is stronger, and where it is blurred less. So that it is much more defined directly on the letter and it's not as far away. Just so it's a little bit there, just to kind of add an outline. Maybe we'll pull it back just a tad more and we'll, we'll put it about right there. I think that's a good spot for that drop shadow. So now we need to go ahead and animate it. Oh so you want it to fly in quickly. We're just gonna go a few frames over. I went three frames over right here and this is where you're gonna want it to finish. You're gonna click on video when you have the text selected and this is where you're gonna want the zoom to end, okay? Right there. Now go back to the beginning and just go ahead and drag it all the way out. So now it'll fly in super quick. Oh. Super quick like that. One, two, three and in it comes. So that's where we're at. And I'm actually gonna go over two more and I'm gonna zoom back out just slightly. That's gonna make it look like it zooms in and kind of like And what we're also gonna to wanna to do after we move it, right click on the keyframe on the zoom right here on this one and we're gonna go ease in and then push the little back arrow. This is how you can switch between keyframes to stop at whichever one you want to. We're gonna go with the middle one and now we're gonna go ease in as well. So now when it, when it comes in, Let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Oh my. Oh my. You can see how it kind of, we'll go ahead and look one time. Oh. It's real quick, but that's the thing. This is going to come quick, 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 quick. And that's what you're going to want to do. So now you're at, oh, now we're going to wait for the next word where he says my, oh my. which is right there. And actually we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and hold alt, click and drag up from that text and go over to that point. Now all we're going to want to do, now we can drag this over here. And we're going to be moving this other O over to the side, but it is all the way zoomed out, so you can't see it. Go ahead and look over. So it's going to be O, my. Then you just go ahead and type in my. And then that should be the first two words coming in right at the right time. Oh, my. And right here. Good. When my mouth is wide open like that, that's where I'm saying goodness. Highlight both of them. Control B. And then... Go ahead and delete these back halves of these. Boom. Because you got the first two words coming in at the perfect time. Oh my goodness. So right here you're going to have goodness. Now click on either text. It don't matter. Control or hold alt, excuse me. Drag it over and put it down here. And that's where you're going to have it say goodness. That's the next word that I say. Come over here. 
And we're gonna wanna center it though, because that's only one word on the screen. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks now. Oh my goodness. That looks pretty good right there. Now we're gonna see where, the, where I say, start saying the next word. You're okay, I don't know why I did that. You're not. You're I think it's about right there. We'll drag it right to the, top, the playhead there. And then it's gonna be your. We'll go ahead and move it over here because I'm gonna put two words on here. You're not. You're not. So we're gonna do the same thing. Hold Alt, drag up on that text. We're gonna go back a little bit because I think you'd rather have it come in just, just a frame early than a frame late. That's a little tip from me to you. You're not. And then we're gonna go ahead and move that over. You're not gonna. Not gonna. And this one's gonna be real short because. Not. I say more words faster, so then highlight the two that you want to end right there because then those two words are going to go away. Delete the end of it. And I kind of kind of slur slash slang word right here, gonna. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, I'm not going to fix it and say going to. Gonna. Two N's and an A. That's how I decided I'm going to spell gonna. <laughs> so. You're not going to. But we also want that over here. Because it's going to say gonna. gonna believe. It's going to say gonna believe. We're going to zoom in a little bit so we can grab the back of this and drag it over. Same thing here. Click it. Alt. Slide it up. And then this one's going to say believe. And obviously it can be faster if you type faster. I got the microphone in my way. I don't, I don't see where I'm typing here. So let's make sure we got this in the right location. I'll slide this over. Boom. Gonna believe this. Gonna be See, I actually want to move this over because, like I said, you, you'd rather have it a frame earlier than a frame late. You're not gonna believe this. And actually, right where this ends is actually right where we're gonna want to have it say this. So, same thing, you can pick any one, it really don't matter. You could pick this one over here too, if you wanted to. And we're just gonna have it go right to the end here. And this is gonna be. The left final word, this. And once you have this made, you can also put it in a power bin too, so you don't have to make it again, because that was half the time that we're doing this too, and it does take a little bit longer when I'm explaining it. So let's go ahead and start over at the very beginning, and let's see how this looks. Oh my goodness, you're not going to believe this. So I think that's pretty good. We'll go one more oh time. Oh my goodness, you're not going to believe this. And you could uh, switch it up if you wanted to... Have it come in just a tad earlier on this one. I think maybe that would look a little bit better, in my opinion. Get the playhead out of the way. You're not going to believe this. Also, of course, I would want this to be centered because it looks a little ridiculous when it wasn't centered. going to believe this. So that's how you make that text fly in super quick. And once you have it all saved like this, if you wanted to, uh, if you know what power bins are, you can come over here. I'm actually going to slide it into, uh, I make Diablo 2 videos. So I'm going to go ahead and stick one of these over in here. Kaboom. And I'm going to go ahead and call it Mr. Beast Text. Boom. So I will have that from now on. I can drag and drop this over here. Boom. And I have a Mr. Beast text already preset and ready to go. So if this video helped you, yeah, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. Peace out.